That's Messi's. No, oh, he's a farmer. Oh, Nope. Huh? It's you. Okay. Try to get you out of here. Try to get the packs out of here. Pretty much. I gotta leave. So, after every game. God, you're all horrible at getting haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> after, after every game, Jeff and all the other coaches would say something, and I didn't say anything the whole year. Least, never said a word. But, I said after the game. <laughs> so, so I sort of been saving up a, a few comments of things that really uh, hit me during this year about various and sundry people. And some of them may not even be necessarily baseball related, but here we go. First one is Andrew. Andrew was our leadoff batter, left-handed. We could count on him hitting the ball to the right side, every, the left side every time, and getting on. And that's why we bet you lead off because you always got on. Good job. A couple of them I had to change in the last few days, but like this one in particular, who can ever forget Tommy's three-run walk-off home run? <laughs> But I had to redo it yesterday when he got those two critical hits to help us win that last game. Yep. Um, okay, here's one. I don't know what to say about the kid. He hits a home run. He has to, he has no, no, no. You gotta get his whole story. He hits an inside the park home run and has to run the whole way on one leg. Oh my God. Uh, who can ever forget Max hitting that ball when he couldn't even walk? He ran the whole way. Okay, I told you some of them wouldn't be baseball related. I'll never forget Logan. Singing, take me out to the ballpark <laughs> 27 times in one game. <laughs> you remember that woman? Yeah. Please stop. <laughs> okay, Alex. Okay. The, the, the problem, the, one of the biggest problems was. I couldn't remember which one they were. <laughs> so yesterday, Jeff said, well, didn't you know that Andrew has blue shoes? And a blue helmet. He and a blue helmet. Andrew, and blue. I, if I'd have known it, the whole season would have been a lot better off. <laughs> but anyway, I, I, I want to I talk about Alex, who had, had a knack of hitting the ball between the infielders every time. He, he always plays that ball, and we can always count on him to play defense. So. We had one kid batted 61 times and never struck out. 61 times. I never struck out. Jimmy and Jimmy. That's a pretty big accomplishment, okay? Especially as bad as I can do. There's another one I had to had to almost change since yesterday. We had a really critical game. Last inning, we needed a pop-up caught in foul territory from third base. <laughs> and, then, and then goes and does it twice yesterday. That's, that's pretty good. Okay, sort of semi Baseball, but not really necessarily a, a highlight. I thought it was going to be the low light of our season. Jeez. Was when <laughs> Sorry, Jake, you know, Jake gets hit in the nose by a line drive. <laughs> <laughs> I can just see him out for two or three games, and I think, what are we going to do? I forgot that. So. I forgot that. 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 I for
You have to hunt bigger in the first round. So the, the tryouts are over. The draft's not even close yet. The tryouts are over, and the only thing we're thinking about is who can we steal before somebody else steals? <laughs> so we call, Jeff calls Jay, calls Jay's wife on her cell phone, leaves a message. He gets a text message back a little later, I'll call you shortly. And we wait. And we <laughs> and Jeff's calling and just, what's going on? I said, are we talking to the astro? <laughs> I don't know. And so then eventually. It was probably all 10 minutes. Huh? Yeah. It was probably all 10 minutes. It, like it seemed time. like 10 hours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're taking Colin. Now we got to find somebody else. And we really want this. We, we didn't really want James. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, and now, and now I heard the rest of the story yesterday. So then they call back, and he says, okay, I'll do it. And then I understand he turned to his wife after he hung up and said, I talked to this Jeff guy. This may be something special. <laughs> and I think it was pretty something special. Yeah. <laughs> Lead us out of here one more time. Yeah. One more time. Wait, wait, wait. Can I just say Yo, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. He's got something to say. Okay. I promise I won't take you long, but okay. uh, I know, and this goes for, first of all, all the players on this, and, and all the parents who supported the team. Hey, guys. Logan, come here, buddy. So, uh, you know, we're going to put these kids through a lot of stuff, and they're going to win a lot of trophies. And when I was a kid, my uh, I, I won a ton of trophies. I, I competed in all kinds of different stuff. And there's and you get trophies for showing up. And you get trophies. That's why you said it was. You get trophies for Cooper. doing well. But I'll tell you what, the things that in life that are good. They're the hardest things in life. And the trophies that mean the most, they're the hardest things you've ever won. You guys had to win, what, 17 games? 17 games. No. You had to win 17 games as a team, and you couldn't do it alone. You had to be together. And you guys fought through all that. The cold practice is the hard practice. The hard practice. The hard practice. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll never forget uh, when... Uh, we're out there. I was out there with Oliver's dad, and we were we were doing some infield practice for a game. And we just looked at each other and said, "Oh my God, who are these kids? They've gotten so much better." And you couldn't have won that championship if you didn't do that. You didn't get better. So I think this trophy is well earned, and and uh, it's a big deal. You'll, you're gonna see this when you look back in your life. Some trophies are gonna mean more than others, and I hope this one means a lot to you because it means a lot to me. So thank you everybody. Get in there. 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 Get in there.